Henrik, welcome to the show. How you doing, Michael, Don, and Peter? I'm good. How you guys doing? We're doing great. Um, I look at this Ranger season, Henrik, and I, I expect really good things. And I, I wonder if you thought that this would be possible so close to when the organization sent the letter out that they were kind of resetting, because it seems like it's happened fairly quickly. Yeah, I, I think when we left last season, obviously we all knew that this summer was an important summer for the entire organization. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. I think we're all super excited with the, what happened over the summer. With the draft, got a little lucky, got an early pick in the draft. Uh, we managed to sign some really good players on the market. And, um, you know, th things happened pr pretty quickly over the summer here. And, and obviously that, that's something that we hope for uh, as players, that we, we're taking big steps in the right direction. So it, it's pretty exciting times right now to see it all coming together, and, and we're definitely moving here in the right direction. We, we, I love playing your sound in the post game because you see the game so well. It's almost as if you're a coach on the ice. So try to explain <laughs> to me how much better it is now than it was at the end of last year. Playing in those preseason games, do you see a better structure? Do you see things working in front of you better than they did at the end of last season? Yeah, I think the structure was there last year. We had a pretty strong first half. Um, and then second half, you know, we did some moves. We sent Zagarello and Hayes and a couple other guys away and, and kind of waiting for the draft. So we had an extremely young team second half. And a lot of times it comes down to skill of the players, you know, to make those extra plays. And I think the coaching staff did a great job getting the structure in last year and now adding a little more skill um, from the free agency and the draft. And I think that structure is going to help us even more this year. Um, but it really, when you look at a lot of games where we lost, it, it was against other top players. And now getting a guy like Panarin, I, I think, is going to help us big time on the ice, but also just confidence-wise to, to have that type of player in the lineup. And um, they've been looking really good in, in preseason here with Mika and which damaged the first line on the power play as well. And, and that's going to be a big part, I think, if, if we're going to have a, a good year or not. Now, David Quinn, your head coach, was on with D. Pietro, Canty, and Rothenberg uh, earlier this morning here on the station. I was listening to the interview, and he said that he's had a, a discussion with you about maybe cutting back a little bit on the games you play. But he also admitted it's, it's a tightrope because you want to play you enough that you stay sharp, but you also want to give you rest so that you're sharp in the second half. Is that going to be a tough thing to balance, Henrik? Yeah, I think you just have to, uh, you know, play it. Uh, along a little bit and uh, see what happens when, when we play and the scheduling plays a big part and how heavy the workload is in, in certain games And but the league is trending that way you have goalies playing less and less I think it's a uh, it's a position where you really need to be on top of your game or it's going to be really hard to win I think it was a lot of years where as a goalie you could play okay and still win games but I think now you, you need to play great to win games because the skill is higher and there's more scoring chances, more shots. So, uh, yeah, you, you just can't afford too many off nights. So some, sometimes uh, I, remember, I remember some years where, you know, the, the, the system kind of protected you and there was a, not a lot of scoring chances. So you got away with it. But last couple of years, you, you, you can see it. A lot of teams trending towards that and, and less games. And uh, for me personally, I, I just um, – you got to adjust it. I've been used to playing a lot. Um, you get into a flow. I feel like you don't have to work as hard to find the, the the focus because you play every second day. I like that. But at the same time, you got to look at the big picture and and, uh, and and what's best for for team for the entire year and not just for for a week or two. What so adjust? I'll work on that for sure. What adjustments have you made to your game going into this year? Um, well, going into this year, I, I, I looked at last year. You know, I felt really good going into the season physically, technically, mentally. So a lot of the things I did last year, I did this summer and training-wise. Uh, I've uh, worked on a couple of details in practice the last few weeks. That I feel like it's really helping my game. Um, I think second half last year was more a mental thing, you know, feeling like we're we're still waiting for, for the draft a little bit, and we're, we sent a couple guys away. It was really hard mentally. It was probably the toughest year in my career, and I'm counting the years in Sweden. So uh, it, it was a new experience for me, for sure, and, and you learn a lot going through it. 
Uh, but now taking this big step over the summer and getting ready for this year, I feel like we slowly getting back to where we were, where you can start looking for, you know, certain goals that you want to achieve as a group during the year. And, and it makes a big difference for me, I think, personally, just to have that type of mindset and, and focus and goal as a group. Talking to Henrik Lundqvist, I want to remind everybody the Rangers will open their regular season at home tomorrow against the Winnipeg Jets with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. MSG Networks will have an expanded hour-long pregame show with coverage getting underway at 6 p.m. Henrik, as a goaltender, is there like one particular player or a handful of particular players that you really hate dealing with that just make it particularly <laughs> difficult and when you see them on the schedule, you go, oh. I feel like today every team has at least one or two guys like that. Just they have, uh, you know, a skill level that sets them apart. They can shoot the puck in a way that makes it really difficult. But then you can narrow it down a little bit more. Obviously, the, if you look at the top guys in the league, that's always a, a, a great challenge for me as a goalie and, and for the entire team, really. You're playing Ovechkin or Crosby or McDavid. Uh, those guys, you know, they're at a very high level every night, and that's what makes them so special. But a lot of teams now, they have one or two guys that I think stand out, and you see holes in the league now in the last few years, the skill level is, is as high as it's ever been, I think. You see things happening out there that you didn't see 10 years ago. You also see more mistakes because guys try new things. Uh, but I think that it makes the game more interesting and fun for the fans. So, um, but for a goalie, you, you just have to be ready for a little bit more, you know, back and forth, couple breakdowns, uh, just because the skill is there and they, they uh, you know, they're trying things that maybe they didn't try 10 years ago. All right, tell us about Capo Caco. The Ranger fans are just thrilled with this kid getting him second overall. You see him in practice. What can we expect from him? So far, I, I like everything about this this kid. Um, you know, he's big. He, he has skill. He can shoot the puck. He can hold on to pucks. He's smart. Uh, works hard. Great attitude too. Really nice kid. And um, I think it's important for us older players now just to make sure for him, but also a bunch of other young kids. That they, it feels weird to say kids, but uh, guys. <laughs> uh, to, to feel comfortable, to, to feel like, you know, th this is uh, their new life now. Things happen quickly, and I remember myself coming into the league, and uh, one year you're overseas playing somewhere, and suddenly you're playing in Madison Square Garden, and it, it's important that you just feel comfortable, and especially in the locker room, because that's where you, you gain the, the trust and the confidence, and then you can go out and, and, and perform. So I think that's something we're going to try to help all the young players feel like they're you know, they're part of this now and feel comfortable and enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy being a New York Ranger and, and playing in New York and, and um, just keep the focus here. All right, so you, he, he, he looks really good. You, you got Kako, you, you signed Panarin, uh, Truber, so you've added some really good players. Is this a playoff team, Henry? We'll see. It's up to us to, uh, to, to show ourselves and, and, and people around us if we can do it. I want to believe so. Um, but I think it's going to be a very tight league this year. It's going to definitely be some surprises. Um, but it, it, it's going to come down to consistency. Are we going to be able to beat any team in the league? I, absolutely, I think so. But it's also going to come down to being consistent. And that's what sets playoff teams apart from teams that don't make the playoffs. They, they're just more consistent. So that's something we, we just have to keep pushing ourselves to, to be as good as we can every night. There's, Every point you can get in this league, you have to grab it. If you have too many nights where you just let them slip away, that, that's when you're going to be on the outside. So, uh, But we're all excited. We had a great camp. Everybody's well prepared, worked really hard. So uh, we, we're just excited to get going tomorrow night. Hank, I don't know much football you follow, but I've always been kind of interested to ask you, you came into the league right around the same time Eli became the starting quarterback of the Giants. And the consistency of being with the same franchise for a long time. I mean, have you ever thought about that or ever met him or talked to him? Or just as you see him kind of coming to the end of his career, can you empathize with, like, what he's going through? Because you've done the same thing all these years being with the same organization in the same city. 
Yeah, of course. I have an enormous amount of respect for Eli and what he's done for, for that franchise and for football and for sports in New York. Like you said, we came to the city pretty much at the same time. And, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Amazing career. And, and um, he seems very respectful to, to everyone. doesn't matter if you're the new guy on the team or a veteran or fans around the organization he treats people with, with respect and class and i think that's um it's easy for, for fans to really appreciate him uh for what he's been doing on the field but also away from the field now before we let you go we're talking with henrik lundquist of the rangers i'm 58 and i can't believe i'm 58 in my mind i'm still 20. <laughs> 12. so you're 37 <laughs> Do you believe that you're 30? Do you believe you've been at it this long? Does it feel like it went fast? Has it gone slow? What are your thoughts? Good question. There's days where you feel like time just flew by, and there's times where, you know, you feel like you've been here for a very long time. Um, but what hasn't changed? You know, I, I love the game. I, I love, you know, coming back to New York now, late August, been away for three months. I was super excited, happy to start camp, see the guys working at the rink and, and just start preparing you. There's so many emotions you feel that you felt, you know, 14 years ago or even 20 years ago when you played the game. And as long as you feel that and you feel like you're in a good shape, you know, you... I want to keep pushing myself here, try to be better. And, and uh, like I said, I've worked on a lot of things. Try to adjust my game a little bit, and um, hopefully it will pay off, and uh, it will be a good year. Uh, but do I feel 37? Um, maybe I feel a little younger now that we're on such a young team. They, they keep you young. Now, uh, <laughs> feeling, I mean, I feel 58, but I think 12. So what do you think? What In your head, how do you think? <laughs> Well, I do think a lot. So I'm a probably, my mind is probably a little bit older. Really? I analyze, I, I analyze a lot. I think about the game and, and uh, um, you know, yeah. I, as a goalie, you use your mind so much. So um, I would say maybe a little bit older in, in my mind, but physically and, and uh, energy-wise, I, I feel younger. Well, have a great season. Enjoy the opener tomorrow. We love having you on, and we only wish you the best. Thank you so much, guys. Right, see you tomorrow.